Kamala was a great talent. He was a great talent. I think I had my greatest cartoon match in the world with him. It was it was over the top. It was in the gardens, and uh, Kamala, you know. So we go in the ring, and at that time I'm about 300 pounds too, and he's about 400 pounds, and he's got this thing, and so he comes, and I go. We go, to the, we get right at each other, and we're going, <laughs> like a mirror. Yeah, <laughs> like we're both mystified, and I reach over and I touch the moon that he has on his, like it's cocaine or something. Yeah! and he runs. Puts his foot over the rope, but he's barefooted, so I stomp on the other foot. Now he hops around the ring, da 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 da. We got this whole thing going on big time, going on big time. And, uh, but the finish is, uh, uh, they're going to, uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to chase the masked man out of the ring, and then Curtis is going to catch me with that, that, uh, stick. A cone. It was a cone like a, a horn. And he's going to catch me with that, and they're going to roll me in, and he's going to come over the top and give me the thing. So, in the gardens, I had never, ever been carried out. I've always come out for 20-some years. So they said, uh, after that, we'll just roll you over and you walk out. I said, bull oh, crap. If you're going to bring a 400-pounder down on me, bring the gurney out. Let's go all the way because he's coming back with Hulk Hogan. So bring the gurney out. And uh, when, they, when, they, when I'm laying there, you could just... You got real heat. It's silence. It's totally silence. And there's a cartoon character. I didn't get that kind of heat very often. And as they brought the gurney out, it was you could just we could have had a riot. I mean, it was really touch and go. And uh, uh, they roll me out. And then I have to go to the commission doctor and get a brain scan because I had a head injury, and they found out I didn't have any brains. But that was a given. I knew that was coming. And then uh, uh, King Curtis. I ran into him in Hawaii when we were doing a show over there, and I'm the one that called Vince and said, this guy's a great talker. He can't work anymore. He's kind of crippled and so on, but a great piece of, uh, you know, in Morocco and all that. We need to bring him in. And so I told, and I told Curtis to call Vince, and he did, and that's why they brought him in. So now he does that to me. Sides, side, you know, I got a lot of side stories. That's okay. uh, there's a place in New York at that time, it's called the Holleran House. It's Kitty Corner uh, in the... Uh, from uh, Waldorf Astoria, you know, the yeah. hotel there. So it's a high rent, $400, $500 rent. Park, on Park Avenue. Yeah. And uh, so when I, uh, when they were getting ready for WrestleMania 1, I was still teaching. And I called Vince. He didn't return my call. So I got an agent. And I did the first major national television for Minolta uh, computer. And uh, they put me in this hotel. Uh, the, the high rent motel, and uh, they got to move me from my room to another room because uh, they put me into a uh, a suite, Mickey Mantle suite, as a matter of fact. And they, somebody else has got it coming, so they got to move me to a regular room. The room agent is Peter Demetrius. Remember that name? Peter Demetrius is a huge wrestling fan, and he thinks George Steele is crazy. Now at this time, I haven't turned babyface yet at all, so he's got to get me from a, a suite. <laughs> a regular room. So, and I didn't know this. I would have had a ball with him. He comes up with five bellhops. To control you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're, I mean, this is serious stuff. And so they, I come out, yeah, and they move me. But I don't know. And I'd, I'd had pillows tore up. I'd, you know. Anyhow, they move me, but he becomes a very good friend. I set it up so that certain guys, because guys would go to hotels and just t t have a disaster. So with Peter Demetrius, if I gave the guy's name, they could stay at that hotel. Valentine stayed there. King Curtis was staying there. I stayed there. There was a hillbilly gym. Just guys that were not going to cause a problem stayed there uh, for $48, $500, $400 rooms. But he was a wrestling fan. Now that night with Kamala, he's at ringside. I got in the corner seat, ringside. Uh, we do the things. They carry me out. He's so pissed off and hot. He goes back to the hotel has him go up to King's room, take all of his stuff out, pack the suitcases up nice and neat, and kick him out of the hotel. <laughs> True story. So he comes back there, the, he gets kicked out of the hotel because he, he hurt George. Yeah. That's a great side story that most people don't know. Well, that's when fans cared. Oh, yeah, believed. absolutely. Oh, they believed it 100%. Yeah. And then they, I mean, he just... <laughs> kicked him out of the hotel. <laughs> so I see King the next day. He says, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. <laughs>
Can you get me back in the room? The, no, you're out of here. Kim Chi, the masked handler, yeah. was this Lombardi back then too? No, Lombardi couldn't have done that. Yes, it was Lombardi. It was oh. always Lombardi. Oh.